Hi, I'm Tom and welcome. In this video, I'll be covering software updates up to our latest version 2.4. First up, the new DMI A3232 card. The new DMI A3232 allows for integration of the new A168 stage rack, a rack mountable 16 input and 8 output stage box. Each Cat5 port on the A3232 supports up to 32 I.O. for a total of 64 I.O. The A3232 can support up to four A168 stage racks in cascade mode, with each port supporting two A168s. Displayed is the brand new Stage 48 system, available right now from your local suppliers. A dedicated video on how to set up the racks will follow. Secondly, some brand new effects engines. S-Series consoles now include four new effects that are now grouped by type as seen. Here are the effects types and their parameters. 10 tap delay, featuring an input filter with controls for echoes, ramps, ping pong and dry and wet. Chorus, featuring modulation, width and depth, chorus width and dry and wet. Flanger, features feedback depth, frequency and dry and wet. And the stereo thicken option, an input filter and wet and dry here too. Next is free fader mode. Fader protection can now be disabled. This means the faders can be moved whilst wearing gloves for example. Activate by navigating the preferences, then work surface preferences. Tap to turn on or off. Now a huge update allowed the unlocking of 21 dynamic EQs, multiband compressors and digitubes. Yes, that's correct, a huge increase in processing is now available on the S series. We are familiar with the multiband and digitube, but now available is the dynamic EQ. Let's take a closer look. Turn on Dynamic EQ by selecting Show DIN EQ. All four bands can be utilised in Dynamic EQ mode, providing a massive 84 bands of Dynamic EQ in your S-Series console. In this mode, EQ adjustment can now be applied dynamically. This is based on the level of the incoming frequency relative to a predetermined threshold. Simply press the Dynamics icon next to the frequency band of the desired band to activate. Each band can be set to over or under mode. Over mode means EQ adjustment is applied when the signal passes the threshold. Generally used to reduce gain at a specific frequency. Great to combat proximity effect. Under mode means the maximum EQ adjustment is applied when the signal is below the threshold. Threshold, attack, release and ratio settings will allow the changing of the way the dynamic EQ activates. Thanks for listening, and I'll be back with some more videos soon on how to operate your S-Series console of choice.